Responsive editing in DV5 is awesome. But before I show you how to do this, I want to show you how it's done in DV4. So over here, I have my text module here. I'm going to start off with the header. So I'll click here on this uh, little icon. And let's say I want to change my sizes. I'll start here with maybe setting this to, say, 36. Now, notice that I've hovered over here so that I can click on this little icon here. Next, I'm going to go to my tablet. And maybe I want this to be, say, uh, 32 and then I'm also going to go into the mobile view and maybe this could be 24 okay now do you see how I have to now go into each and every item to make my changes and I'll show you next I'll come over here now to my normal paragraph text and let's say I want this to be 17 I'll click on this little icon again change this to tablet and maybe I want this to be say 19 now do you see how easily I'm getting lost in all of this now because there's just too much clicking now, if I wanted to add something else, same thing. I'll have to hover over here and make the changes then. So just to show you quickly, if I hover over here, there we go. We still have it here again. I have to go into the tablet, make the changes there, make the changes to the mobile phone. So mobile editing is in each and every setting in DV4. But now let me show you in DV5 how things are really awesome. So all I have to do here is to start making my changes to my view. So right now I'm on desktop. So I can come over here now and I can change my size here, change the line height. Okay, so, so far so good. What I need to do next now is to start making changes for my tablet. All I have to do here is to click on tablet and already I'm in my settings. So I can see here that my heading here is a bit too small. So what I want to do is to go in and start fixing that. So I'm going to bump it up to about, say, 34. Now, while I'm in this mode, I can move on to the next item, which is my image here. So let's say I want to make a few changes to my image. I can go in and change my sizing. So at the moment, it's auto. So I can make it slightly smaller, maybe bring it down to about 80%. And move on to the next item. Now, notice that I haven't changed anything. I'm, I'm just still clicking around my design. Now I'm on my bottom section here i can go into my design again changes from auto let's bring it down to about 80 percent just like what i did with the other one now moving on i also have some text here i can just go into my text now and make changes to that come over here to design now i'm in text i'm going to change this to let's say 17 pixels now let's say i need to move on to the uh, mobile view i can simply come over here to my mobile and now I'm going to start from the bottom, make sure that this is selected. I'm going to change my text size here to 17, I mean 16. And then I'm going to move on, perhaps make this image slightly bigger. I'm going to go to design, sizing, I'm going to force full width, and I'm going to change this to 100% so that it's just filling up the whole space. Next, I'm also going to do the same thing. Now notice I'm still in my mobile view. So I'm going to click on that, come over here to design, set this to 100%. And this is looking great, by the way. Over here now, I can go to my design text, make sure that this is down to 17. So that's all I need to do. Now, I know these changes are very subtle. I want to make something um, a bit uh, drastic here. So I want to change my background color here for my section. So I'm going to come over here. Now, notice that I'm in my mobile view. So I want my background to be slightly darker. Okay, so we can see the differences. And now I'm going to go to my mobile view. And okay, I'll leave this color as it is. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. And then on my desktop here, I'm going to make it even darker. So bring it down a bit more, just like that. Now this is just for demo purposes only. Now let's take a look at our preview. So as you can see here, we have the dark version. I'm just going to shrink this a bit more and the colors should start changing now. There we go. So you can see here the color has changed and then all the way down here, the color has updated. And when I scroll down, you can see my image here looks great. And my font here also looks great. So as you can see, in DV5, the design process for mobile responsiveness is totally different. It's much, much easier. You don't have to leave the interface. If you go into the mobile view, for example, you can design or change everything on that page without going into 
each and every element. So I think this is a huge update to a DV5 and I really love this. I know this is the alpha and there are more features that we're still waiting for. Go ahead, join DV University. It's absolutely, it's absolutely free. The link to that is in the video description below. And also if you haven't bought DV yet, the link to that is in the video description below. If you purchase DV using my affiliate link, it comes with some bonuses. So go ahead, check it out. The link is in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.